When junior year hits, you get a lot of these. They're all ads for you to go to their college. There's over 5,300 colleges in the United States. And I had to decide which one I was going to in a matter of two years. This decision doesn't make or break your life, but it is a very important decision in your life and you want to make the best one possible. So I'm going to explain what led me to making my decision. There's always been two things I've been passionate about, or at least over the past four years, filmmaking and golf. I believe I had to drop one once I went off to college, and since I was pretty set on that I wasn't good enough to play golf, college golf, I decided that I would take the filmmaking route and not the golf route. So I quickly began to scout out schools. I had heard about a school in Chicago called DePaul from one of my classmates. Uh, he said it was the best film school in between LA and NYC. I found out some information about it. I went to a banquet thing here in town for it. I felt like it was a pretty good fit and I was actually looking forward to going there over last spring break for a college visit. Slowly I began to realize I jumped into this way too fast and I didn't assess my own values of what I wanted for college. The five values I wanted was family. I wanted to remain close to my family and keep that special connection I've always had with my family so I really didn't want to break that. I also maybe thought I wanted to keep playing golf on a regular basis. I wanted good academics, um, a good film school or something along those lines. I wanted it to be affordable to where I'm, I might have a few student loans when I get out of college but it isn't my main priority paying off those, that college debt and it's not something that holds me back throughout my life. Um, and I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to be comfortable around the people. I wanted to be comfortable in my spot. You know, they always say to step out of your comfort zone, and I agree with that. I thrive under comfortable conditions compared to some people that thrive under uncomfortable conditions. Those are the five values I wanted in a college, and the Paul sadly only hit one of those. So right then and there, I thought, this is not a good fit. So I began to do some research of local schools that where a lot of those values I could keep that I wanted. And I quickly discovered that KU actually had a pretty good film program. It was pretty cool. The campus was a lot nicer than I thought it was. I had actually never been on KU's campus even though it's 30 minutes away from here. This is an interesting outfit. One, 1921 to 23 by Paul Endicott. It hit four of my values, which I thought was pretty, pretty good. At this point, this was the uh, last two months of my junior year, I was really set on going to KU. However, my high school golf coach forwarded us an email from a college assistant coach who was a scouting guy, and he just basically said he was looking to see if anybody was interested from Rockers to check out uh, their college. And after talking with my mom, I was like, well, we can go check it out, see what happens. It's local. What's the worst thing that can happen? The school we went to was called William Jewell College. It's in Liberty, Missouri. I still, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to KU. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this. But I thought, well, let's just see what happens. And I went up there. I met with the coach. And the program actually sounded really cool. And I was like, Huh, this is interesting. Kind of left it open throughout the summer last year, and I actually started to play really good in tournament golf, um, and my game became much better, and honestly, I got addicted to golf. Like, the amount of time I spent on the golf course last summer was more than I ever had before, and that's mainly why you didn't see that many videos last summer. My handicap went down from a 5.5 to, it's now a 3.3, which doesn't seem like a big hop, but it actually is. I went up again this fall, uh, just to check out the camera, some some other things, and get to know their program that I thought I might be interested in, which was digital media. And, you know, I was always set on filmmaking, blah, 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 past year or so. I've been doing stuff for my school that's a lot of digital media marketing relating and stuff like that. So they had a program up there that was digital media, and they do 
web design, they do all these things that is kind of like that freelancer work, which is something I actually have been really interested in is kind of a lot of freelance work that I could do for companies or maybe work for a company. I talked to the golf coach that day um, and a week later they gave me an offer. Slowly KU began to fade away and it's mainly because it passed those five criteria. Family, it was really close to home. I could stay connected with my family pretty easily if I wanted to come home on the weekends to do something with them, pretty easy. I didn't have to make it a big deal. Golf, I could obviously continue playing golf for four years, basically get paid to play golf, which is awesome, and their home course is insanely cool. The, the academics were there too. The school is known for pretty good academics and that, like I said, that major was pretty interesting to me. Scholarship, it wasn't gonna be too expensive like most private schools are. It was actually gonna be more affordable than KU and DePaul, and it was comfortable. The people there are awesome. I've gotten to know them through the few visits I've gone to. Uh, they've contacted me a lot. I've stayed in contact with them. I just, when I walk on the campus, I just feel comfortable uh, compared to maybe KU, KU where it kind of seems overwhelming a little bit. Um, about a little bit after my offer, I got the slip to where I could sign for them last week, and I went ahead and I did sign. Uh, so I will officially say that I'm a Cardinal. Now, when I started golf like six years ago, I never thought and ever thought I would go play college golf. The reason why they offered me a scholarship, I think because they saw potential. I've been growing steadily in my golf career for the past six years. I've never had a, a decline year. I've always been growing and I think um, I will be able to continue to do that over the next four years. Um, and I'll also be able to pursuing academics and everything. So I'm just really looking forward to going up there. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and an enjoyable experience.